Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number 6, and we're going up against an alliance called Los Parables. I don't know if I said that correctly, but tried my best. Anyway, uh, I've already gone in, and let me refresh your memory or let you know what our strategy is these days. So first off, we have... A few people, first come, first serve, go in first. And you can see that they've cleared out uh, one or two sections. The rest of us are on backup. And we get called in if they get stuck or they want to preserve their, you know, last champion for the boss. All right. If they're able to go all the way to the boss and finish the boss off, great. Then the backup can come in and just explore. But the word came in. And as you can see, they were stuck here and no one was taking uh, that path too. Uh, probably did not want to deal with that Killmonger. Don't blame him, he's an annoying defender. All right, so you can see the nodes that I'm having to deal with here. All right, we've got flow as the defense tactic for this war. All right, so I go in here with Omega Red because I figure I won't get a lot of crits to activate that power gain. And if I slow play it, like you see me doing there, just staying around, trying to put more spores on him, we should be good. You know, fire off a heavy to lock him in. Now bait him out, he fired it off, that's nice. And then just keep doing it again. And we're doing quite well. Okay, just firing off those heavies, keep those spores on him. And that's pretty much how you take down Killmonger with Omega Red. Nice, smooth, easy. Okay. Um, now, if I had tried to play that more aggressively, I may have gotten a lot more crits, and that would have triggered the uh, power gain from the flow. Uh, defense tactic. All right. So now we're going to fight this Quake. All right. Now, Quake is a pretty simple defender. But she can be annoying, especially if she charges up her heavy a lot. Uh, so you don't want to give her a chance to do that. You know, so you don't want to block a whole lot, you know, because uh, she will do that heavy and put those on you. And even if you have one stack, you can get wrecked. All right. But look at my boy, Nick Fury. He impressed me so much last war. And so I said, oh, I'm definitely going to bring him again. Uh, he may have a nice permanent spot on my team because he is just a beast. Look at him. And we haven't even gotten out the uh, life model decoy hasn't been destroyed yet. So he's not even putting in the crazy damage that he is capable of. All right, so we cleared this path and I'm like, you know what? Let's keep going. You know, we've got this human torch just sitting there looking at us. All right, uh, you can see what we have to deal with. Buffet, I normally hate Buffet. I really, really do. Now, we tested something out with Limber, and it didn't seem like we were getting as much benefit as we thought from maxed out Limber. And Kabam said they were going to be changing Mesmerize. So for this, I changed up my uh, mastery setup just a little bit. Still running suicides, obviously, but I do have a couple of points in deep wounds now, so... His bleed should be lasting like a second or so longer. Um, I have that point in Assassin and I've maxed out Despair. And you can see we just destroyed this Human Torch. I like Nick Fury. When I got him twice in one opening, I was ecstatic. But I did not fully realize just how good he is. Okay, and again... The real Nick Fury hasn't even come out yet. All right, so I moved and I have no energy. All right, you see how much time we have left. I don't know what happened, but now this here comes from my stream. I actually had to take this out because I had to do this fight live. They were screaming. You see how much time we have left. You see what the boss looks like. And... I was a little salty, okay? I don't really like this. I, I'm one of those people that likes to finish one task before going on to the next one. And so interrupting a task to do another one, it, it 
bothers me a lot. So I'm already, you know, off kilter. I'm having to do this live, which I also don't like to do, uh, but I did want to record it. So I'm going in here. We don't have that much time. So I'm just throwing on boost, uh, the invulnerability boost. I figured I was going to need it. Uh, you can see I was capped out. I think I had one in my overflow uh, still. Not sure. But I'm just putting in some, uh, you know, boost here. And uh, I know I'm going to go in here with Warlock. That Warlock would probably chew my other guys up. Nick Fury wouldn't be as effective, I don't believe. All right, so we go in here. And I don't know how to fight with Warlock all that well, okay, and fight against him all that well. So this is my first time facing a Warlock boss, if I can remember correctly, uh, and I'm going in here with Warlock. I still have a lot to learn about him, okay, but you can see here, I'm basically going in uh, when he fires off his uh, heavy, I punish it. I'm not even trying to play around and evade that special one because I'm not good at it yet. So I just blocked. Now, I am running suicide, so I'm taking recoil damage every time I fire off my special. But I do want to fire off my special. And you can see we're chipping away at this Warlock. Now, I want my Warlock awakened. What he gets when he's awakened is when he gets that infection on them, he does some degen damage. So he does more damage. So like right here, uh, I would have had more damage being done uh, to this warlock that I'm fighting here. But it's still good. Still good. Okay. So I just had to bait out that special two and boom. And you can see I'm taking quite a bit of damage because this warlock is awakened. So I'm taking quite a bit of damage. Okay. Here we go. I'm trying to bait out that special two again. There we go. He did good. Boom. And I'm back at it. I'm infected now, but that's okay. Here we go. And I just want to get to that special two, fire it off because I want to get that extra damage in there. Boom. Okay. Now I'm worried. Oh, I got so lucky right there. Okay. Because he was about to get that special three. He had the power gain uh, thanks to me critting and getting the uh, power gain for him from the defense tactic. But here we go but we're not worried. Remember that invulnerability boost I, I put in? All good. He can do that twice more and I wouldn't care. So as long as I didn't get hit, I was good, okay? So now I'm just hitting into his block to back him off because I don't wanna be stuck in the corner. Fires this heavy off, I punish it right away, okay? Just block this and my health is getting pretty low. I got this shock on me and I'm, getting some damage done to me here, okay? And I'm so low that I'm like, okay, we got him, we got him. I should be able to do that last special two and he's done, okay? So we managed to get him down. If my teammates hadn't already put some damage on him, I probably wouldn't have been able to do this uh, one shot. Um, you know, technically it wasn't a one shot, but I actually got him down without dying. So that's what I mean. Anyway. That is it, and we will come back in a little bit, and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war, uh, but the important thing is that we got all of our bosses down. Now, I don't know what communication issues happen. Uh, you could see there was a gap of hours and if I had not jumped in there, I don't think we would have gotten that boss down. Uh, and I don't know what happened. Our leader, who's usually um, right on it and has everything running smooth and streamlined, is on vacation right now and he doesn't have good signal. So he's basically not been here. And apparently no one else has been stepping up to fill his shoes. Okay. Um, we've also dropped a tier. You can see we're tier five, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to make it, uh, to, uh, platinum four, but goal one is, is just fine. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Yep. You can see 
you know, people are not trying to 100% this thing. Um, and there we go. So uh, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.